Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new game. I am going to be playing Slime Rancher, which I have heard very good things about. Um, but I've never actually played it before. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing or uh, really what any of this is, but apparently I've got like a vacuum thing, and I grab slimes with it, apparently. Okay, so I can jump and sprint. Okay. Um, dry reef, a coral-crested ocean floor that now basks under a golden sun. Okay. Um, so... I grab things, which I already kind of figured out. Oh, I can grab carrots. I mean, I'm assuming these are carrots. If this is a completely different planet, these might not be carrots. No, they are carrots. Okay. Oh, there's something here too. Pogo fruit. Okay. I'm gonna assume that I probably feed whatever these are to the slimes, maybe? I'm not sure. There's some up there. Can I get them? Oh, I can. That's fun. Keep whacking them into the ground. What the heck was that? It was a bird. Oh no. I have injured it or something. Maybe it's okay. Hopefully. There's another one. I'm gonna be careful not to vacuum that one as well. Okay. I feel like I saw something over there, but I'm not sure what it was. So I don't know very much about this game, but my understanding is, I think, oh, I guess I have a full inventory or something. Um, my understanding, I guess, is that somehow, where did I come from? This way? Um... No, this doesn't seem like where I came from. Whoa. If anyone has thalassophobia, <laughs> that might not be the best place to look. Okay, I think it's this way that I came from? I'm not sure. Um... Anyway, I don't know very much about this game, but from my understanding, it's mostly collecting... Oh, I go here, maybe? It's got a star on it. Oh, weird. <laughs> so this is like their terrarium, kind of. Okay. Okay. They eat chickens. There's a chicken over there. I could get it, maybe. Oh no! There's the little one too. Okay. This feels really mean. Um but I'm gonna try it and see what happens. Help. They're still in there, so it doesn't look like they're eating them. Maybe I feed them carrots instead. Oh, they're eating them. Okay. What if I feed them a chicken? Um. What happens? No, not that. Oh. 
They did eat it. Okay. Am I supposed to pick these up? Maybe. Ah, uh, not the slime, the other thing. Um, that's fine. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, it's helpful that they have these stars telling me where I'm supposed to go. Okay. I'm assuming I just... Okay. You've learned the fundamentals, now it's time to go out there and explore. Remember, the best way to become a pro rancher is to experiment. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay. Um, I don't know what that means in the context of this game necessarily, but I will see about doing that. Is there fall damage in this game? Because I just sort of walked off the ledge. I will grab this and feed them, I guess. There you go. Okay. Um, I guess I should probably go out and see what exists. I don't want to fill up my inventory too early with things that I already have. Um, oh, but that's there. And those seem like they're valuable, so I guess. I don't want this slime. I want possibly other things if there are other things to see or collect. So, ooh, okay. What the heck? Those look so interesting. It's not very cool. Oh, they're so cute. I like them. The blue ones are cool. They're so spiky. Okay. Am I being attacked? What's attacking me? I don't know. Can I get you? That thing might be attacking me. Um. This is a cliff. Can I vacuum? What's the range on this? Um. That one's really big, too. Are the big ones attacking me? Maybe they don't like that I'm taking all the small ones. Um, okay. Well. There's more of these things. Also, I feel like I need to... fix the where is it the mouse sensitivity because this is very sensitive I think we'll see if this is better because it is it is going all over. Oh yeah, this is this is better. Um, I should do that in my time at Portia because oh my gosh, the <laughs> the screen flies all over the place in that game. Um, okay, so I can. I it looks like I can put different things. Whoa, what the. Egg just happened. Um, something's going on in here. I don't know what happened with that. Um, yes, I do. I have to go in. Oh, okay. I'm also gonna get these 
birds out of here because I feel like they don't need to be in there. I just completely shot them into a rock wall. I'm sorry, I did not mean to. Um, okay. I don't really know. So it looks like maybe these are the different kinds of, because this one looks like the rock ones. So maybe that's, I guess, what. Um, what happens if I just jump off of this? Also, oh my gosh, that moon or other planet or whatever that is is so cool. You know what? I'm not going to. I already have a history in my time at Portia of walking into- I don't know what to- okay. Um, I walk off into things I'm not supposed to in that game, so I'm gonna maybe not do that right now. Okay. <laughs> Mail. Rise and shine. Casey. Hi, V. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what it's like. 7Z puts you in a pod and then it slides out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. Ugh. I guess I better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. Okay, so I was in, like, cryo sleep or something to get here. And then there's mail from the corporation that was mentioned in the other one. So, welcome to the far, far range, the 7Z Corporation. Miss LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the far, far range. Welcome and extend our support in your bold new venture as a slime rancher. Support extended. <laughs> we would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range. Until you get more familiar with your surroundings, traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7Z Corporation providing the tool you need to get the job done for us for a small fee. 7Z Corporation. Okay. So, this is, I guess, my house, possibly. Um, one of these things is here. The spike. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened to that one, but um, interesting. Can I put it in here? I can, but it's just gonna jump out. Okay. So they can kind of jump out. You're out. I feel like that one just whacked me. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, Alright, so I don't know if you have to sleep at a certain time in this game, like in Stardew Valley and some of the others. I also don't know, it's said to not necessarily go outside at night, but um, Oh, what is this? A lab. Okay, so you can buy expansions of things. I'm gonna assume that I can't walk through that yet. Okay. Oh, the sky is so cool. I love it. All right. Um, so I guess I should probably try to go to sleep. Um, because that's an option that I have. Okay. Do these guys attack me? I'm not sure. 
Okay. I should explore a little farther. Oh, what is this? Okay. Hello, Beatrix. The name's T Hobson Twillagers. Maybe. Rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt that there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around he this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Be talking to you, H. Okay, that's kind of cool. You get some lore, I guess, from the former owner. What the heck? These clouds look like ice sheets. Um, I don't think I've gone this way. This? Oh, there's a different one. There's new ones. Okay. Okay, I would rather have... No, not the carrots. I need the carrots. Give me back the carrots. <laughs> um, pink slimes, I don't need. I do need these, I think. So... But these tabby slimes are really cute. Those are fun. I like those. fruits. I guess maybe they're not ripe. Um. I don't know where it came from. Maybe this way. I think. The ground here is so glittery. Yeah, I think this is where I was. They're so cool looking. Oh my gosh. They're gonna jump out, I can tell. Okay, I should Oh my gosh, what the heck? Something attacked me. I'm being attacked. And I don't know whether they're attacking because they're hostile or whether they're just exploding into larger things and it's causing me damage. Um, I think I will sleep until morning. Oh, I've got mail, okay. Welcome to the Range Exchange. This is by Thora West, okay. Hi there, Beatrix, the name's Thora West. I'll keep my introduction short on account that all we, <laughs> oh my gosh, that we all got work to do. I'm a longtime rancher here on the Far Far Range and head of the welcome wagon for your local Range Exchange. The Range Exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slimes, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. Well, enough drawing. We've both got slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix. Thora. Okay. Cool. That's good to know. Um, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here for now. Um, I know it's pretty short for my normal recordings, but this kind of game 
with the motion of this, the way that it is, is a little bit hard for me to play for a long time. Um, so I will be leaving this here for now, but I'm excited to come back and play it again sometime. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!